Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your marriage be. Stacy, you've known each other from the first glance of acquaintance at the VA to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided it would be a good idea to get married. <laughs> from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making promises and agreements in a casual way. All those conversations you had riding in a car or over a meal or walking to the lake, all those sentences that started with when we're married and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will, those late night talks that included someday, and somehow, and maybe, all those common things are the real process of a wedding. The vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, yeah. you know, all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed, well, I meant it all. Every word and forever starts today. The vows that Derek and Stacy are about to make reflect their understanding of life's ever-changing circumstances. Life does not always go where we plan, no matter how much arranging is done. Sometimes you just gotta wing it. Stacy, the first time we held hands, I knew it would be forever. The first time we kissed, I knew it would be forever. And when I put this ring on your finger, I know it'll be forever. Every day you inspire me to be the very best of myself because that's what you deserve. I promise I'll be there to support you through any challenges in life. And I promise to say I love you every night. 
Now we're together, I cannot picture my life without you. And after today, I will never have to. I love you and I take these vows with all my heart. From the moment our paths cross in the VA canteen, you have surprised me, distracted me, captivated me, and made me smile in a way that no one ever has. You may have said it first, but I've fallen in love with you countless times over and over again. You are my best friend, my smile, my everything. I don't deserve you even on my best day, but I'm grateful for you every day. I always hoped I would find someone that had the qualities like my dad. I have, and today I get to marry him. I promise to be true to you, to uplift and support you, even when the Lions lose on Sundays. Oh. <laughs> I promise to frustrate, annoy, and challenge you, and to share with you life's beautiful moments. And someday, if all the stars align, I might even let you win an argument. Okay, probably not. <laughs> No matter what trials we encounter together, how much time passes, or how hard life gets, I know our love will never fade. We always find strength in each other and continue to grow side by side. I loved you yesterday, I love you more today, and I'll love you always unconditionally with every beat of my heart. Do you, Derek Joseph Hill, take Stacy Jean Danilick to be your beloved spouse? knowing in your heart that you will be a faithful friend and loving companion. On this special day in the presence of family and friends as witnesses, do you give your sacred vow that you will always be with Stacy and support her in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow? Do you promise to love her completely, to console and comfort her during difficult times, to laugh with her, to share with her life's simplest but most enduring pleasures, to be truthful and honest with her, and to cherish her for as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Stacy Jean Danilek, take Derek Joseph Hill to be your beloved spouse, knowing in your heart that you will be a faithful friend and a loving companion? On this special day in the presence of family and friends as witnesses, do you give your sacred vow that you will always be with Derek and support him in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow? Do you promise to love him completely to console and comfort him during difficult times, to laugh with him, to share with him life's simplest but most enduring pleasures, to be truthful and honest with him, and to cherish him for as long as you both shall live. I do. You repeat after me as you place the ring on her finger. Stacy, I give you this ring. Stacy, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love and devotion for you. As a daily reminder of my love and devotion for you. And the promises of all my tomorrows. And the promises of all my tomorrows. Derek, I give you this ring. Derek, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love and devotion for you. As a daily reminder of my love and devotion for you. And the promises of all my tomorrows. And the promises of all my tomorrows. So when we were rehearsing last night, I looked at Stacy and I said, I'll try and keep my lecture to 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> She just looked at me with a deer in the headlights look. I said, no, I'm kidding. You're not going to get a lecture from me, and maybe that's why you asked me to do this, because you know I wouldn't give you a lecture. Just know going in, it's not always going to be easy. It's not meant to be easy. It's not always going to be long beards and long spurs. That means like full bottles of wine and clean litter boxes, stuff like that. <laughs> but your wedding day is one that seems to fly by. It's a day filled with emotion, friends, family, pictures, dancing, and laughs. Many people remember how fast their own wedding day flew by, so I want you to take a few seconds to look into each other's eyes. Think about the happiness that you're feeling at this very moment. Really let the feeling register in your heart and in your mind. I want you to think about your life together in 20 years. 
We all know that your visions of the future may not always be identical, but they are always complementary. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together, that is reality. That new reality starts now. Derek and Stacy, on behalf of all those present, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Oh, 
We're not noticing. Come on. <laughs> then you got your first. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I was Then you got your first job at a daycare center, and then your first real job at Ticket Save, I said that. Time flew by. You took a chance and interviewed for a dental assistant with no experience, and you got it. More time flew by, and you got the job at the VA, where you met the man of your dreams. We are so happy for you, Stacy, that you have found your soulmate and are moving on to the next chapter of your story. Derek, this is your turn, buddy. This guy! Yep. You obviously have something very special because Stacy met you. She has been happier than ever she has ever been. When she looks at you, her smile tells it all. We are honored and very happy to have you become part of the family. We look forward to many good times, memories to be made. Nancy and I are blessed to have a complete family picture now. Two kids and, and their equally great spouses, the current and future grandkids, we love you all. And now I would like you to like to propose a toast. Please raise your glasses. Raise the glass, the speech is over. <laughs> and now I'd like to propose a toast. Please raise your glasses. Derek and Stacy, may you have new and exciting experiences. May you have compassion, tolerance, and understanding during difficult times. And may you have many years of everlasting love and happiness. See them start their marriage with a lot of kisses. Thanks again for coming. Let's see and then shake some booty. Yeah! Uh, I'm Jay. I'm Derek's best man. He's our leader today. All right. I'm going to say Derek's one of the best men I know. He's a great guy. And through the years, I know he was my brother to me. Before it started, I'd like to take a moment and thank everybody who's worked so hard to make this day a success for the bride and groom. And a special thanks to those who traveled from outside town to be here today. Your presence means a lot, both Derek and Stacy. Stacy, you like to really sign today, and so do your bridesmaids. Woo! No! <laughs> now, I know that many of you here today have shared experiences with Derek and relate to what I'm about to say. I've been in enough situations with him to know that when things aren't running smoothly, he has somebody to rely on 100% to do the right thing, push himself to the edge, and support you in your own life. Now I'm going to give a list of his qualities, but Stacy, when you need him to be there for you, he will be. When you need him to support you, he'll give everything he can within his power to give, and he will go to the end of the world for you. This is one of the many reasons I know that you're a lucky lady to have him as your husband. Maybe times in the future you might find this hard to believe, so I surprise you. <laughs> Just remember, Stacy, I'm a model husband. If you ever dealt that, pull up the dictionary and look up the word model. For those of you who forgot your dictionary this evening, I got a definition right here. A small miniature replica of the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> and on behalf of the wedding party, I would like to thank everybody for sharing this wonderful occasion with us. And everyone, please lift up your glasses. I would like to wish Mr. and Mrs. Gary Kill the happiest ever after. Congrats and cheers. Good evening. My name is Kristen and I'm Stacy's Nathan Hunter. I met Stacy in the first grade back when we were just seven years old. 
When I sat down to write this speech, I realized just how fast memories fade away as we get older. I can't remember what outfit I wore on my first day at my new school. I'm not sure if my parents drove me or if I rode the bus. And if you gave me my first grade yearbook, I probably couldn't remember the name of half of the kids in the class. But I can so clearly recall being introduced in front of the room and seeing that little brunette's hand waving in the air her voice calling out, Mrs. Glade, can the new girl sit by me? <laughs> and that was it. We were instant best friends from that moment on. Literally inseparable through elementary school. We did everything together, creating haunted houses in her basement during sleepovers, choreographing dances, belting out Madonna's like a prayer at recess, me trading half of my cold lunch little Debbie snack, for half of her hot lunch chicken patty. <laughs> Playing practical jokes on Rick and Nancy. <laughs> Organizing the Burrow Land Club. <laughs> Bribing Stacy's brother TJ with gum. <laughs> Be nice. Playing the violin and deciding at least once a year that we were going to quit. <laughs> Cheering for the PBMS Mustangs and a million other memories in between. Life brought us new friends, different interests, and eventually we found ourselves living in different cities. Despite those challenges, we stayed close. As life got busy, we would go months without talking, only to pick right back up as if no time passed at all. One of my favorite quotes says, everyone has a friend during each stage of life, but only the lucky ones have a friend in all stages of life. For me, that is Stacy. A friend who knows my worst, but always chooses to see my best. Someone who stood with me on my wedding day and came to the delivery room at 3 a.m. to watch my baby be born. She's trustworthy, loyal, and unwavering in what she believes in. She is also the life of the party. <laughs> the one who will be karaoke Sir mix a -Lot's baby got back at every opportunity she gets. The girl whose laugh will undoubtedly leave everyone else laughing, even if they have no idea what was funny in the first place. <laughs> a friend like Stacy is truly one in a million. She deserves a happily ever after more than anyone, and I believe that she has found that with Derek. I could not be happier or more proud to stand here with them both today. With that said, it is time for a very special toast for this very special couple. So, uh, if my friend Steven could help me out. Oh my god. god. Be Becky, look, look at her ring. ring. It's so big. <laughs> she looks like, she one, looks of like one of those new wives in a bridal magazine. Maybe. But you know, who understands those new brides? They only, <laughs> they only talk to her because she looks totally gorgeous. I mean, her ring is just so big. I can't believe it's just so brown. It's like an like outfit. Single girl out of my nose, another guy can have a 
ladies and gentlemen. All right, at this time, I need all both parents. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Derek Hill for their first dance. Life has begun from this moment. You are the one right beside you is where I belong from this moment on. From this moment.
and I'm flow To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal Light up the stage and watch the chunk like a candle Dance, go watch the speaker that booms I'm chillin' in your brain like a poisonous mushroom Deadly, when I play a dope melody Anything less than the best is a felony Love it, don't leave it, you better gain weight You better hit bulls out of it, don't play If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it Check out the hook while I just like the stage and see Say it, please me Or spend some time and rock around I said it's not that easy 